this is my model of HMS Campbelltown hopefully this video is going to show you some of the things that it can do it's got various stuff and um, you can see the model is quite detailed is at a scale of 1 to 72 due to the size of the model it actually breaks in, in, in half down the centre line um, the join has been done quite well because you can't actually tell especially on this video where the join line is first thing I'd like to demonstrate to you is the lighting on the model firstly we've got the main running lights as you can see there's all the lights around the deck the down lighters the lights that are on the main mast the navigation lights the port and starboard there's also some lights up on the uh, deck the other thing is we can switch on the the lights we use for display so when the real warship is in dock they have floodlights okay so we've got floodlights that floodlight the gun the front of the ship the mast area the funnel there's also another set of lights that work in conjunction with what I call the the garage door and uh, when that's open you see the door is now opened up and now we have all the lights inside and the navigation lights for the helicopter to land and as you can see there's some crew inside and the navigation lights also work on the helicopter the helicopter also rotates and it has a working rear tail rotor we also have working radars The guns and the missile systems also are radio controlled and they can train round and also round here and also the main gun moves. The warship's also got a destroyer siren. So all in all, it's quite a complex uh, model. The kit is by uh, fleet scale, although you get a hull and plans and some fittings. So there's still a lot of scratch building involved in building a model of this size. The model is actually uh, 1 to 70 second scale. So it makes it 7 foot in length. So it's quite a big model to handle. But it does allow you to have the flair to produce all the minor details that you would see on the real ship. Hope you've enjoyed our video of HMS Campbelltown and we'll probably bring you a video of it on the water sometime soon.